This review is for the Lycocator DC power supply. This is the 60 volt by 5 amp unit. Um, right now I have it powered up. What I'll do is I'll turn it off. So you have two on off buttons and it takes a little while for it to actually drain the capacitors I'm assuming. Um, and then you can see it's completely off. Um, right now, everything is dead. No current to the to the two cables. Um, no current to the five volt two amp outlet here. <clears throat> um, what you have to do is you, you turn this thing on, and I have a linear actuator that um, I am going to show you. You know, working with this thing, nothing special. I don't do anything all that crazy. I like to mess around with electronics and repair stuff if I can, and build digital or build synthesizer kits and mess around with Arduinos and stuff like that. So I just needed something that um, a reliable power source that I could control the voltage and the amperage. Um, this thing fits the bill perfectly. Uh, so in this state with this power button on, you can see the display. Um, right now it's telling you that the unit is, is actually off. Uh, this five amp or five volt outlet, USB outlet is powered right now, even though this says off, you can get power out of this, uh, right now, but you won't get any power out of these cables at this time. In order to do that, you would need to hit this button here, which you can see highlights green and then the wattage goes to zero because there's no, no, uh, draw on it right now so i'm going to turn it back off for this linear actuator it is a 12 volt um, unit and the paperwork basically says that it's optimum range is about five amps so <clears throat> what you have to do is these are also push buttons as well as dials um, but it, it allows you to that blinking number is the one that's actually being changed right now and you can see that you can by the button press and it's a little weird uh, sometimes, like it did the last time it shuts off, it doesn't allow you to change. But at this point, it's on that first digit. So what I can do is I can just adjust this to 12 volt. And I could have actually, uh, yeah, let's see. Let me drop this down to 12. Um, I did bring my multimeter here so i'll show you what you're actually getting out of it and then um i'm going to turn this down to three volts or three amps and it'll stop blinking so it's on uh, so it's set to that it's not on yet what i'm going to do is i'll show you we'll clamp we'll clamp these to the multimeter and Hopefully you can see that. I believe you can. And now we're going to turn it on. We can see that it's, it's counting down there. I don't, I'm not exactly sure what that is. But as soon as you turn it on, this is what you wind up with. Slightly under the 12 volts. And, and as you go up, um, you know, you can see even at 22 volts, you're actually getting 21.7. Just fine. I, I I don't know if all power supplies work that way or not. I have no idea, but um, I don't care. You know, I'm, I'd rather it be slightly lower than whatever it is that I'm setting it to. Um, so now what we'll do is we will hook this up. And this being closed, the connectors actually have to go to the opposite side of this. And I, I just got this power supply just to tink, tinker around with things, mess around with things, and have a, a reliable power source that I could set and, and use without a problem. Um, and this thing, like I said, does well. So I'm going to turn this on, and you'll see the actuator start to go. All right, and you can see the wattage draw, what the amperage rate is. And then what we'll do is we'll stop it, and then to pull it back in, you reverse these. And when it hits, you know, the end, it'll automatically shut off and you should see it there and what it's doing. And if it has a load on it, obviously it's going to use much more amperage there. But you can see it's 
turns itself off. So, uh, just an example of what, you know, it can do. Um, if you're looking at power supplies, I'm sure you have some general, at least a general idea of what it is that you're looking for. Um, you know, I could have easily gone with the 30 volt, um, 10 amp unit. Um, I just, chose this not really even thinking of much but this will do exactly what i need it to do for most of the stuff that that i plan on doing with it um there's not much to it i don't know what else to to say about it there is a ground lug here and i believe they are labeled underneath you can see um there's only the two cables included and these are basically similar to i guess it is a banana style plug what they would call a banana style plug that's just slips into the front and it's pretty tight and does the job uh these are also screw terminals so you could easily put you know a fork terminal or a ring terminal or something on the on the end of that if you needed to use the ground um this here is just the the tag that covers the screen i usually leave those on unless there's you know it looks like crap then i'll take it off on the back of the unit uh, you have a fan i assume only comes on when it's high amp draw I haven't gotten to that point. Um, you have the power plug, and then below the well, below the power plug, you have the fuse. Um, not exactly sure. I believe you have to pull this out and then pull this little housing out, and then you have access to the fan um, or to the the fuse. And uh, to again to turn the thing off completely. Right now it's off, so it's not putting current out, but it allows you to adjust the settings. Uh, to turn it off completely, you just push that button. It takes a second for it to drain the capacitors, and then it's it's done and over with. Uh, it doesn't weigh much. doesn't take up much space. You know, you're looking at maybe a little less than three and a half, three and three eighths by about six inches high, maybe about eight and a half inches deep, not counting the power plug or the the two plugs sticking off the front uh, it's small enough to fit on my bench um, and that's exactly where it's going to sit uh, because i am constantly trying to power up things um you know and test things um so i always have a need for it and right now i've been you know using little power packs and stuff like that and shady shady stuff that i don't want to get electrocuted with and or burn something up so uh, this will definitely save me from that it does have a an after sale service i have not had to reach out to them so i don't know how the service is the case is is metal sheet metal um i did not take it apart you can see somewhat down inside there um i believe they have pictures of the inside of the thing on their website and I have no reason to open it at this point, um, but definitely fits the purpose that I need it for. I'm not looking for anything crazy. This is all the features that I need. Um, that's it. Hope this helps. Thank you.